Welcome to another part of the core trust seal requirements video series. In this series, we talk you through the new core trust seal requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applicants, extended guidance, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number 11. My name is Raina Jenkins. I am the Data Stewardship Manager at Ocean Networks Canada and have been serving on the core trust seal board for the last few years. Requirement 11 focuses on workflows. Digital object management takes place according to defined workflows from deposit through to access. Workflows allow for quality assurance, which is requirement number 10 to be achieved because it is necessary to avoid ad hoc actions and to deliver consistency of practice for all digital objects and across repository functions. This requires that workflows are defined, documented, and change managed. Workflows may reflect a mixture of standard operating procedures, business process descriptions, and diagrams that guide normal practice and provide mechanisms for handling any exceptions. This mixture may account for different levels of curation practice, different types of data types supported, and more. The requirement confirms that all workflows are ultimately documented. It should be noted if there are different workflows for different levels of security mentioned in the legal and ethical response statements. Workflows may also include qualitative and quantitative checks of outputs, but any details on those checks and compliance should really be addressed under quality assurance. When crafting the response, there's numerous types of evidence that should be included here. The workflows descriptions must describe how the different curation levels are handled, how the workflows may be adjusted for different types of data or metadata, what kind of decision handling happens within those workflows, and how are workflows changed or versioned over time? Is there an ability to track the workflow execution and mechanisms to handle any exceptions that are encountered? A couple of example statements from applications are presented here to further illustrate response expectations. Please note that these are merely examples of aspects of the, re the requirement and by no means complete response statements. So in the first example, a recommended workflow is available on our website for depositors to follow and it is their responsibility to ensure that these steps are taken. Well, here it is nice that there's some guidance provided, but there's no real responsibility taken by the repository to ensure that workflow is handled correctly and doesn't account for their own responsibilities in the overall data management life cycle. The next statements are a lot, a lot better. For example, the reference with the link here shows a detailed breakdown and diagram of the data ingest workflow, including various pathways for different data types. Or on an annual basis, workflows are reviewed and align, updated to align with any changes in best practices or expectations. Or a data curator supports the depositor through the data ingestion workflow, tracking completion of steps and any specific comments along the way. If we look at the changes from 2020 to 2022 requirements and the 2023 to 2025 requirements, we can see that ultimately the expectations are very similar. However, the, the language of the requirement has been updated to reflect that the most commonly used within the applicant community the ability to track workflow execution with mechanisms to handle exceptions was added for improved traceability and provenance. This concludes the instruction on requirement 11 of the new core trust seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the core trust seal YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025 on the core trust seal website. Thank you.